sisters Sylvia and Carolyn Wilson are the owners and curators of the Sheffield Park Black History and Cultural Museum situated in Clarksburg, Ontario. The sisters are carrying forward a legacy with the museum that began with another family member's vision. Uncle Howard, Howard Sheffield, had a dream and a vision someday that we'd have a museum and that he thought that our history should be told and shared in the community who we are and how we got here into Collingwood. And, and one time he found little tin plates of pictures and he was showing it to my sister and Sylvie was saying, who are these people on these little tin plates? And Uncle Howard knew the names of our ancestors. So we had them enlarged, put up displays in our church, and the community came in to see black history and who these families were. The museum hosts 17 themed buildings on the property, each one containing various artifacts and exhibits relating to the black history experience in the Collingwood area. The journey begins in the main building. A lot of times when people come looking for black history, they think history just started on the Western Hemisphere. Once the Africans were put on the slave ships and brought over, that's when our history started. We like to tell them the story began in Africa. So when you walk in, you come into Egypt, where ancient history began. And the things that we enjoy today are because of black pharaohs, black queens, black kings, and Africa. So when we start with who the Africans were before they were enslaved, it's eye-opening, it's thought-provoking, and people are just amazed that this is black history. Some of the museum's artifacts and displays tell a story of a journey in chains that took place during a very bleak period in history. Particularly the slave area, the plantation area, and seeing some of the shackles and the collars, and the most, uh, most visitors will say, man's inhumanity to man. And oftentimes they're unable just to, to walk by that uh, display or to see this really actually happen to a people. And then the question is, how do you feel about that ourselves? So we, all, we often answer that by saying, we know history can't be changed, things happened. But it's what we do with the information we have now that can make a difference, change people's thinking, their actions, and how they treat each other. The Sheffield Park Black History and Cultural Museum can also claim that it houses its own Sports Hall of Fame. A lot of our black athletes here locally at Collingwood and Barrie, Aurelia, Owen Sound, they, they could compete. Our mother, for example, held five of the six high school records in track and field. And when it came time for the Tut Hope uh, Collegiate Championships, she wasn't allowed to go because of her color and I think they were afraid that she'd win. <laughs> but 60 years later, she was inducted into the Black and Gold Society of CCI. Howard would be amazed. He'd be very grateful for my sister, not saying myself, but our family, our people, and our friends. And he would always say, don't forget the people, those who have helped you get this far. Take them further and carry them with, carry them with you, and they will carry on. He'd be very proud of this to see this today. It's everybody's history. We might have the, the brown and the black skin, but if you think back, a lot of our great, 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 great grandfathers are white. So we're part of their history and they're part of ours. And now we're part of everybody's. So come take the journey. <laughs>